What's up YouTube? It's Ambic Zero again with another video tutorial for Visual Basic. Today we're going to be doing if-then statements. Um, this is boring stuff, I know, but if you guys don't know Visual Basic, you need to know. If you do know Visual Basic, get out and come back in a few videos. Um, so an if-then statement is pretty uh, simple. If this, then that. Like, if Ambix Zero is sick, he then Ambix Zero will go home today, which is pretty much what I did. So... Let's do this uh, really simple. So, start up a new project, make sure you got a Windows Forms application, and drag a checkbox onto the form. Okay, so we went over... I just want to make this obvious. Remember when we went over variables and I said there was a Boolean, and it could be true or false? Well, checkbox1 has checked as a value, so like let's set that to true. Now, checked is a Boolean. Checkbox1 dot checked equals true or false so if it is true then that if it is false then that so let's make um let's make a text box too passed it okay and checkbox we're gonna put is um hmm we'll make it is sick because that's what i am today and I'm also going to put a button on here. Okay, so we're going to go over two different things with if then statements, and both are really simple. First, I'm going to do a simple one. If checkbox one, because that's the object we are calling, and then the property of it dot checked equals true, then what we want to do hit when you hit enter it enter it will also say and if so what do we want to happen if it equals true text box one dot text equal ampic zero has gone home okay so pretty simple I hope you guys understand that and I will show it to you just to prove so it is checked, it is true, and when I press this, it should say ambig zero has gone home. And it does. Okay, now let's do an else command. Else text box one dot text equals the check box is not checked okay so what we have here is if it's checked then this else as in if it's not checked then do this now we could also do the same thing except right if checkbox one dot checked equals false instead of this whole else stuff but now we cover both sides so let's do this again the checkbox is not checked and it's just that easy. Now, um, what we can do is use other forms, like let's get rid of the checkbox right now, and let's just stick with the text box. So now what we're gonna do is an else if command, which means we can have multiple different options, not just else, it's else if. So if text box one dot text equals, uh, let's say, blue then whoops I wrote test blue then message box your color is blue okay so now we want an else if because Right now, if we leave it empty and press the button, nothing happens. Only if the text is equal to blue will something happen. Well, let's say we want the text to equal red for some reason. So let's type in else, oops, else if, one word, and press enter. Uh, now let's copy this. And when I said enter, I meant tab. Uh, equals red then message 
Ignore that. Message box. Your color is red. Okay. So let's type in red. And we get the message box, your color is red. And if we type in blue, we get the same thing, but it'll say blue. So that's how you use else if. Okay, the if then statement is huge, huge in Visual Basic. You're gonna be using it all the time. Uh, pretty much just like everything else I teach you in Visual Basic because you happen to use everything all the time. Um, you need to know if then statements just for everything. So we're gonna be using a lot of those. If you don't understand for some reason, uh, feel free to ask in the comments because I will answer your question. Uh, you need to know if then, else if, um, all that kind of stuff. So I hope it was simple enough. Uh, rate, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next tutorial.